Welcome to a week in science from RIOS. This week, seeing inside molecules, playing Cupid for voles, and tiny ancient primates. First up, an imaging technique that allows us to see inside molecules. Molecules are currently identified by detecting signature vibrations that are unique, like fingerprints. Japanese researchers have enhanced this technique so it's sensitive enough to map the structure of an individual molecule. This high-res method could allow us to actually build molecules from scratch and change their functionality. Researchers have played Cupid with prairie voles using a special love drug. Voles are one of very few monogamous animals, forming lifelong pair bonds. Bonding naturally occurs after mating, when changes to the vole's gene structures trigger the release of certain love hormones. Scientists injected female prairie voles with a drug that made these genes trigger the hormone release, causing them to pair off without ever mating. I wonder if that will work in humans. A climate change data review suggests that ice loss in Antarctica may be less than previously predicted, while in Greenland it may be more. General anaesthetic could increase the risk of dementia in elderly patients. Astronomers have photographed a never-before-seen gaseous planet orbiting its star 300 light-years away. And male lyrebirds coordinate song and dance moves in their courtship displays, a level of sophistication previously known only in humans. Wrapping up this week, let's step 55 million years into the past. Scientists have discovered the oldest nearly complete skeleton of a tiny primate. It was about 7 centimetres long, weighing no more than 30 grams, as small as a modern pygmy mouse lemur. Features of the skeleton suggest it was a frequent leaper, had good vision and ate insects. This discovery helps us understand the early evolution of primates and when they split from human ancestors. We cover lots of health stories on A Week in Science, and our upcoming event, Lost in Translation, delves even deeper. On June 19, we'll look at the barriers that stop cutting-edge health research from reaching healthcare practice. You can join the audience in Adelaide or tune into the live stream online. Details on the RIOL's website. That's been the highlights of another big week in science. For more information and science news, jump onto the RIOL's website at rioz.org.au where you can also sign up for notifications of future episodes. Don't forget, follow A Week in Science on Twitter using the hashtag Week in Sci. I'm Tania Meyer, and on behalf of the RIOS team, see you next week.